you guys out there welcome to another monday's motivation i must tell you how privileged i am to be talking to you and how happy i am to have you sharing with me this is motivations and memories and today i want to talk to you about beauty for ashes ashes represents sorrow pain bitterness hurt brokenness and you would find in the old testament that each time the children of israel experience great loss or you know certain distresses they would mourn with ashes upon their heads etc job sat in the ashes in order to be comforted when worms ate his body david put ashes on his head when he lost his first child with Bathsheba but today I want to encourage you that you may be experiencing some ashes in your life maybe a loss maybe some sorrow some deep distress and you are right now experiencing pain but I want to share with you and encourage you that there is beauty in your ashes how so because the word of the Lord in Isaiah 61 Jesus Isaiah prophesied and Jesus came and he fulfilled that prophecy when he said the Spirit of the Lord is upon me right and he did explain why the Spirit of the Lord was upon him to you know set captives free and those free who are bound you know the recovery of sight to the blind so the Spirit of the Lord was upon him to do a mighty work not only that but in verse 3 of Isaiah 61 it says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness so you may be experiencing some of that ashes heaviness pain as I said hurt and you know all of that but there is beauty in your ashes how so because the Lord promised comfort so though you are right now experiencing the pain of the ashes Jesus Christ promised comfort he promised the oil of joy he promised restoration and healing he will give you peace you may be at work and there is so much war and strife and contention and that has become a, an ashes for you but the lord promised that he would restore healing so i declare that there will be a restoration of healing in your workplace in your homes in your places of worship wherever you are and your experiences ashes i declare as the word of god says because it is a promise and when god promises he always fulfill so he promised that you will have beauty for ashes yes all those things that you encountered you will have beauty for ashes i cannot tell you that you will experience that beauty here on this earth right now but i can truly tell you that if you continue to keep your focus on the lord jesus christ if you continue to hold on to his unchanging hands if you continue to be resolute in your spirit that comes what may you are not going to give up i want to ensure you and i can guarantee you that you will experience that beauty in the next life remember that this is not just the final life that we're living but there is going to be a better life a life where we'll never experience sorrow and pain and hurt a life where we will be happy because all that we lost will be restored by the Lord Jesus Christ not only will we be restored of everything that we have lost but we will remain in the presence of the Lord forever if you have not yet said yes to Jesus you cannot continue to live in ashes you cannot continue to live with pain and sorrow and bitterness and hurt i want to encourage you today to exchange make an exchange take beauty 
for your ashes give up the ashes in exchange for the beauty that the Lord promised in exchange for comfort in exchange for the oil of joy in exchange for restoration restoration of your home restoration of your marriage restoration of your family life restoration of your health maybe your body is deteriorating but if you have spiritual health restored then nothing can be compared to that it is the best thing to have spiritual health I encourage you today regardless of how you may feel hold on don't give up because he promised beauty for your ashes yes beauty for the pains he promised comfort and the oil of joy and restoration to everything that the enemy has taken from you. Just as we restored Job, so he promised to restore you. But for us to gain that promise, we must continue to stay focused so that we can gain the beauty for ashes. Have a good day good rest of a week and remember as you go if you did not subscribe to the channel i implore you to do so now also remember to share with your loved ones share with your co-workers tell them to share with somebody else and most of all walk good stay tuned with god and i look forward to have you listening to me again as i share with you god bless